There's been quite a bit of talk about monetization and view counts in Girl World lately, so I thought it would be interesting to stop and take a look at these concepts. In this video, we'll explore earning potential and discuss two creators in Girl World, Hungry Fat Chick, or Candy, and Foodie Beauty, or Chantal. And lastly, we'll finish up with how you can support your favorite channels. As I was mapping out my content for this video, I realized that the only real numbers I could share with you were my own. While it's really easy to just go to Social Blade and type in a creator's name, the numbers here are pretty inaccurate. Their high end of my monthly earning estimate is just under 50% of what I made in my highest month. So what numbers can you count on? Let's take a look at actual view counts and how much the videos earned. So far, my highest earning video at over $500 was a compilation I did of Foodie Beauty's Mobility. It's gotten over 60,000 views, and I think we can all agree that this is a good benchmark for a successful video. My second highest video came in at $142, and it got over 23,000 views. Now keep in mind, each creator has a separate CPM, or cost per meal, which is what advertisers pay to be put on your channel. On top of that, each country has its own CPM, and Foodie is out of Canada, and Hungry Fat Chick and I are both out of the US. So let's switch gears now and turn to Hungry Fat Chick. If you've never watched her before, she's a creator out of Las Vegas, and she makes her money mainly off of mukbangs. After a recent hospitalization this summer, she changed her content and has now been focusing more on weight loss. While her candid vlogs and recipes document a significant weight loss, they also led to a drop in viewership. Let's see, how long ago has it been since I've had decent views? Um, it sucks. Well, the last decent ones was when I was having trouble on my diet. Better days ahead, vlog 09. Disappointing way in. <laughs> Those got 50,000 and 40,000, but they were two months ago. <laughs> so they've had time to like generate a little bit of oof. Two day 21, three weeks on carnivore, they got 50, 51,000. Yeah, but that's like three months ago. I don't know. Oh, well, that, that says it all right there. <laughs> <laughs> KFC, 76,000 views. If you pull up Candy's video list and filter by most popular, you'll see that over the years, she's earned millions and millions of views. Now, keep in mind, we do get paid every month based on view counts for that month, regardless of how old the videos are. So even though her current stuff isn't getting as many views, she may still be getting residual view counts. In my opinion, it's these numbers that Candy and Chantal are both chasing, not individual eating requests from individual people. And unfortunately for Candy, even though she's getting healthier, her current viewership isn't quite meeting her monetary needs. Yeah, so I was getting a lot, uh, you know, I was getting better views with the fast food type stuff, but... Oh, for heaven's sakes. Uh, I really don't want to go back to it. And I mean, I'm already, I'm already shooting, eating content and putting it up on adult sites and in the members area. And I'm, and I guess I'm just being stubborn, you know, uh, but Like, dang it, there's going to come a time when I'm going to have to just suck it up and, and just go back to doing what's easy because I'm not getting views, I'm not getting paid. So let's head east now and check in on Foodie Beauty. Now, if you've never watched her before, she's a Canadian who now lives in Kuwait who is currently vacationing in Thailand. Her numbers have also started to plummet, not so much for the same reasons as Candy and she's still trying to mukbang to bring those numbers back up. Like Candy, Chantal's biggest numbers came when she was eating. 
mainly fast food in front of the camera, either in her car or in her home. The big difference here is that she told stories while she ate, big outlandish stories that didn't even need to be true. Her persona back then was a fun-loving open book. Candid, weird, storytelling. I have no doubt that some of her highest earning live streams were during the Natter years, but those have all been privated, so we won't know for sure. This all changed very abruptly when Foodie up and moved to Kuwait. After a brief online courtship which lasted less than a month, Foodie left everything behind to move to Kuwait. She adopted a new private persona, one who didn't tell everything that was on her mind, and that's resulted in plummeting numbers. Even with the eating on camera, Foodie's not getting the numbers that she used to, and there's one simple reason for that. By editing out comments that she doesn't like, or leaving comments off entirely, she's turning off the engagement spigot. This has also led to a whole bunch of new reaction channels, myself included. Test it out for yourself if you don't believe me. Type in Foodie Beauty in the search engine on YouTube and see what comes up. In the case of Hungry Fat Chick, she's just not giving the audience what they want to see. And in the case of Foodie Beauty, she's simply alienating her audience. Over the past year or so, Foodie has done incredible damage to her channel by categorizing her viewers as supporters or haters. This has pretty much splintered her viewership, where her haters are now going to reaction channels to view her content. And remember, she's the one who classified them as haters to begin with. On one hand, she seems to be doing what she's always wanted to do. She's traveling and she's exploring other countries, even if she's just in a hotel room. But the reality of it is, she's pretty much just introduced a new character to help her put down the non-supporters. In the end, the proof is in the pudding. Just take a look at her numbers, and then go to a reaction channel and look at their numbers. And before we get off the subject of Chantal, I wanted to show you this. Turkey Tom is a famous YouTuber who does documentary style videos. His most recent documentary was about Foodie, and this is how many views it got over 1 million and counting. So the interest is there in her as a subject, but if she wants to capitalize on this, she's going to need to change her delivery. And that leads me into my final discussion point, how you can help support your favorite creators. The financial ways are very obvious. You can join a monthly membership, you can subscribe to a channel, you can leave super chats, super thanks, and super stickers. You can even buy their merchandise. But as for me, I would prefer the last two forms of support, leaving comments and giving me views. I was lucky enough to get picked up by the YouTube algorithm back in April, I think due to my engagement. And because of that, my AdSense revenue has increased exponentially. So the best way you can encourage a supporter that you really like is to view their content directly on their channel. Leave a comment, even if it's just to say, hey, great video because every little bit of engagement counts. I hope you found this video helpful, because if you did, I want you to drop me a line in the comments and let me know what you think. I'd love to hear from you. Really, I would.